So where where are we, Renee? A pie Now. A pie calypse Now at Christie and Bloor. So these are their tater tachos, pepperoni, and what did you get? Pig destroyer destroyer. Damn. <laughs> So, and also, oh my god, they had so many Arizona flavors. This one I've never had. Yes. It has raspberry. And which one did you get? Kiwi, strawberry, fruit juice cocktail. Yes. Okay, this is enough. I gotta dig in and I'll let you guys know how it is. But right now, my mouth is watering. Gah. <laughs> Yo, so I just took the first bite of the tater tachos and... I'm getting emotional. Yeah, I'm Bruh, it's a little bit spicy, I'm not gonna lie. And y'all already know I can't really do spicy that well, but. It's worth it. Bruh. following day hey guys so we're out here at Innes Hall Theater why are we so dark? hold on I'm turning on the exposure relax Hello, what's up Michelle I'm good can you tell the writers why we're here because I lost my train of thought <laughs> <laughs> we are currently at the movie theaters of Innis Kind of, yeah. In this college at U of T. To watch a piece of hair that is edited by Phoebe Sequino. Did y'all hear that? Phoebe Sequino? She's. Who is she? She's your who is she? sister. I don't know who she is. <laughs> I'm just supporting the Filipino community. Oh. <laughs> Phoebe. <laughs> Phoebe is her sister. She's and one sister. of our great family friends. Oh, oh, she oh, 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 oh my god. Yo, yo. Oh my god. Who is that? 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 You're blocking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So basically, she edited this film called The Piece of Paradise, and we're about to watch it. To enjoy the paradise or <laughs> She edited it, and if there's any point in the film where like her name comes up or anything... We're gonna shout. We're gonna... <laughs> like the Filipinos we are. Yeah, of course. Yes. So, obviously I can't film the film for you guys, but... She'll show you the trailer. Yeah, we can link the trailer. Link the trailer. Phoebe, are you good? She good. Are you nervous? <laughs> you what? Stop! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop this now. We'll see you after. Okay. Bye. Phoebe, so right there. We're proud of you. We're proud of you, Phoebe. We're proud of you. Okay, you better get it.
<laughs> it's just like for that one experience for me, I get scarred for life, so I'm paranoid. I don't want to get scarred for life. Oh. For me, um, I, I just feel comfortable, like even with the cameras around. I don't mind. I don't know. I just think like every time they, they follow me, I just think it's like they're just there. They're just humans following me. <laughs> I don't think about the camera. <laughs> For me, like uh, I'm comfortable with the terms, like natural, like I'm acting like natural. I don't like I don't uh, like uh, I'd, it's like normal. As well as me, I didn't even know that camera is following me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <busy>. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe also from from my point of view, I've always I've, I've always been so drawn into observational documentary, and I thought that one way of doing this is to really have a very long engagement with with them, and to also make them part of the process. So every now and then, I would show them the footage. Every now and then, I would tell them what's happening with the film because it's a very long process. Yes. Okay. Um, I noticed how how much kilograms. <laughs> I don't even know. I prefer all of them to bring it home. I did cry because um, music is actually something that is my first passion before film. Uh, so I <clears throat> I connect a lot with the auditory part of film. So I'm actually a sound designer first before I'm an editor. So this was also my first big production um, experiencing this. But just listening to the song, you can tell it's a lullaby. The the way that. The, the song kind of goes from beginning to end. And it's interesting enough that it's also like in minor chords, I believe, right? So it's kind of a juxtaposition that's supposed to lull someone to sleep, but it's in minor chords, which for me was like really, really great. So uh, yeah, it's a very special song. Yeah, um, how, does it, how does it feel to, to see yourself on screen, especially the boys? Because I totally remember being a teenager. That was week from five, from like mid teens. I'd be Daryl outside on my phone. <laughs> 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 you want to answer it, Daryl? Can you guys all hear me? Okay. I'm, I'm not really. <laughs> 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 to be honest with you, like, I wasn't very comfortable with that at first. My mom basically forced me to do it. But like, as I came on with it, I was just myself. Like, I really didn't care. Like, my attitude now, I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> my mom tried to make me to another person. Be like, oh, be nice. Do this. <laughs> be someone else in the camera because you have to present yourself in a proper manner. So just like, you know what, I'm going to be myself, I'm going to see how that plays out, and then next thing you know, he comes telling me that I'm the star of the film. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, was kind of shocked, but like, it all played out well, so I'm kind of happy about it. And I congrats to him, like, he, he's the reason why we're all here today. So. Uh, I wasn't expecting seeing this on film like this, because five years ago, I seen the trailer, I was like, wow, this is going to be big. I haven't heard much from it, and then walking into here and seeing it on big screen, it was like, whoa, like I've never seen something like that before, and I never knew it could be done like that, right? So it was pretty nice, and I'm really proud of Patrick. Oh my god, Phoebe is really out here editing films. Okay, okay. Okay, there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>